Shalom, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. You know, I was reflecting on some things as I was walking through the city today. Why would we expect people in the world, we live in the world, to be pure in heart, godly, living a holy life? We're living in the world. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. So why do we expect people who are not believers, people who are not regenerated in their soul, why do we expect them to act the way we're called to act if they haven't received Yeshua and they, they haven't been a regenerated person? You know, it's almost like you want to bang your head against the wall because we can so easily forget this. And I'm going through a very frustrating struggle right now. And my whole channel is about um, wanting to encourage other people. I work through my struggles, holding on to God, coming out victorious, because we always will if we hold on to God, to encourage you, to let you know you're not the only one out there who's struggling. I'm not trying to be any other kind of preacher or anything. I'm just being my one-of-a-kind self that God created me to be, to bring my offering, to deposit who I am into this world, to be an encouragement to others. And I get so frustrated with myself because I've been walking, dancing with the Lord now 30 years. And in, in Jerusalem, everything is accelerated. So on the tale of thoughts you shouldn't be having as a blood-washed believer, but we do because we're human, I get convicted about it. So I'm really grateful at the, at the acceleration of uh, realizing, um, you know, I can't save myself. No matter how long I've been walking, dancing with the Lord, this is why we need a Savior. And we just need to keep feeding on the Word every day, spending time with God, being conformed into His image, surrendering, surrendering, and surrendering more. It's not like, okay, I've been saved this many years, and now I'm sanctified. No. Sanctification is a daily walk and dance with God. And it's the reminder that we can never save ourselves. Yeshua is the only one who can save us. He saved our souls from death to life, so we will be with God forever in heaven. But we need to live a pure, holy, and set-apart life here. And it's very, very frustrating because, um, especially I'm living in a culture that is not the culture that I lived in for the first 45 years of my life. Um, I think I moved here when I was turning 45 or 46. And so, um, it's very frustrating. It's a different culture. I don't understand when certain things happen. I just, I can't understand. I don't understand. And yet, if I would allow God into my struggle within, he will grow me and this will be redemptive. And I'll grow through this yet again. Other, another new experience. And God is digging for the gold in us. He is looking for us to be conformed more into the image of his son. And so it's never about the other person. Ugh. And our humanity wants to say that it is. But in the spiritual realm, God is wanting to use everything to refine our character. Ouch. Ah. The pruning process, very painful, not pleasant at all. So I want to encourage you, you're not alone. Let's press into God today and let's surrender. And we can't change people, so we need to go to God and say, God, you know the situation. Please do what you want to do in this situation, and God can do it. God can change hearts if that's his will. Hallelujah. So let's look to him. Let's take our expectation off of man because that's a dead end. And, and let's put it back onto God. God bless you from the city of the great king. Yerushalayim.